Hello everyone, uh, I'm back with another speed paint this time and actually I wanted to take the opportunity to talk a little bit about my approach of drawing people, uh, like actual real people, um, because in this drawing I really really struggled with drawing win-win at first. As you can see, I did a sketch before and it didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to. So um, this is because I usually don't draw him. I think the last time I drew him was during takeoff and it's been a while since then. So I wanted to talk about the approach I did, which you can see here. Um, I heard the tip from a lot of professional artists, so I try to use it more often when I have an actual reference I'm working from. And it helps me a lot to kind of figure out the facial shapes, the facial structure of the person I want to draw and it also helps me um, use that approach for like later drawings. Like I definitely can depict the person in later drawings better without even using that technique and it is to, uh, as you can see here, I kind of traced over the actual picture of Win-Win here to get his facial structure a little bit better so I can see what parts of his face are symmetrical to others and I put it under the picture. So from that approach I'm actually doing the actual drawing after that. I'm not using obviously the thing I traced. I'm trying to give it my own feeling. I'm also changing a few structures so it is more in my style and not just a traced picture. And I actually think I should do this technique much more often. I'm aware that I can do that, uh, that it helps me, but I definitely always forget about it. I have a lot of other um, people that I always want to draw that I can't really draw well and I always forget that I can do this. Uh, and that it actually helps me because um, for some reason my brain uh, finally realizes how the person actually is built up, if this makes sense. So, um, yeah. And yeah, I don't even know if there's much else to say. I just wanted to talk about this little approach I do in some of my paintings. I don't, like I mentioned, I sometimes forget that I can do this, so I don't do this for everything, but I definitely do this when I realize I'm struggling a lot and I have an actual reference picture I want to work off. Um, but obviously I'm also like, I like to change a lot of things. I'm making the eyes bigger usually, I deepen some shapes uh, so it's a little bit more stylized and I adjust some proportions just so it looks more like my style and like how I would like to draw people. And for example, I also changed his ear here because I wanted it to stand out. I wanted to give him this fairy, this space fairy feel with all like the little planets flowing around his head and the stars on his cheek. So I wanted him definitely, like I wanted him to look more magical. So I adjusted his ear. He has a pointy ear by nature, which I'm very jealous of. It's so cool. But um, I adjusted it because in the reference picture it was more tilted towards the uh, camera and I laid it a little bit more flat so his ear is actually more visible. And yeah, I'm actually quite happy with how the picture turned out in the end because it, it does not look like I wanted it to look, but it's still fine with me. Like I was actually very scared to go back to that picture. I think I did the sketch a few months ago and then for the longest time I was really scared to uh, start it again and actually color it because I was kind of aware that it won't look the way I wanted to. But after like a lot of experimenting and uh, finally sitting down and getting myself to work on it again, I actually like how it turned out and I really want to do more of those like fantasy themed magical um, drawings. So yeah, I think that's actually all I wanted to say. I only wanted to talk a little bit about the approach I take when I want to draw a person that I never drew before. 
and I want to show them in a way that they're actually recognizable. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave you with the rest of the speed paint and I hope you liked it. I hope what I said made sense to you and yeah, I guess see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye!